Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday to you, because today I have got $58,000, and that should be more than enough to buy another plot of land and for us to get some building done. But and I'm like super excited because I've got my uh, VR headset working. Um, my old one, my old VR headset. So I gave the kids. Okay, so. Listen, I've got um, two Samsung VR gear, the, the version twos, which are the black ones with the USB-Cs, right? And they work all the way up until Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So I had my old Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus from, uh, from work, right? Yes, yes, I wanna buy more land. And I got um, a second one from a gentleman who used to work there, but does not work there anymore. So I had two of the identical phones. I gave them to my kids and I said, listen, if I ask for it, if I want it for work, then one of you has to give up your phone and your VR headset so I can use it um, whenever I want. Well, that turned out to be a bad idea because they don't like to share with me. <clears throat> It's gotten me mad, so anyhow, I have one of the original uh, VR gears, one of the VR, uh, the Samsung Galaxy VR ones, which is the white one that doesn't have the controller or anything, but I had a Samsung Galaxy S6 phone, um, one of the first Galaxies that I had, one of the first Samsungs that I had, and it was amazing for the time. So when I went to go and check it, the VR gear, the VR um, virtual desktop didn't work for it. So I tried to upgrade it. And apparently you can't upgrade an AT&T phone from Samsung Galaxy S6 to Android. Uh, it was on Android 6.0 and it needed to go to uh, Android 7.0 or 7.0.1. Anyhow, long story short, I ended up finding um, the firmware specifically for the phone. And I found uh, this program called Odin, which allowed me to uh, install the software and everything else. I got the phone upgraded. And wouldn't you know it, it wasn't installing anything for the, the VR gear. Oculus wasn't working, Facebook wasn't working, just, just not working at all. <clears throat> so finally, I already have land, yes, I want to expand my land. Thank you, thank you. We're trying, we're trying to max out the land here. We still got a ways to go, but that's gonna, oh, 27,000. That's it, that's my monies. Oh gosh, okay. But anyhow, today, after I had, uh, I disabled everything that was not VR gear or Oculus related, everything got disabled. I uninstalled Facebook, reinstalled Facebook, updated the, the software, did everything I could and it still just didn't work. So I restarted the phone and I left it on the charger thinking I'll come back to it and hopefully something will work. Well, um, this evening, just after dinner time, I came back and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna install everything. Install, 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 install. And I went across the board of the Oculus to install all my like previous programs and they started installing. So. I now have my old Oculus working with the, the virtual desktop and I am super happy and proud of myself. So that was a lot of work for, for little, little result. <laughs> uh, basically with the virtual um, desktop, it's called virtual desktop and it's a, a program for the VR gear. I can, I, I purchased it for like nine bucks, 10 bucks, something like that, but I can put the, uh, I can put the client on any one of my computers and then use my login. And basically it turns my computer into a remote desktop station. So like I can have my VR gear on, put it, put my VR gear on. I've got a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. I use the little wand controller. I click on the computer that I want to get into. And then inside a 3D environment, my computer appears on the screen. It's the coolest thing ever, but that's, I mean, like, I don't even need to take my laptop to, to places anymore. I can just take my VR headset and then if I need to log in, I can log in from anywhere. 
Now, granted, I still need my cell phone, my regular cell phone, so I can uh, have internet because it's gotta have a hotspot and stuff like that. It works Wi-Fi only. Only the Wi-Fi, only the lonely. Anyhow, sorry, I am ecstatic. Mm. I do apologize about not having um, the videos for Subnautica and for uh, Zelda done yesterday. I was up late, but I have an announcement. I am working on a second book. I had pitched an idea to um, to the, 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 the Adams Media, and they liked the idea, but they were going to go ahead and pass on it. So I asked, uh, "Am I bound by contract to only publish to you guys?" And they said, "No, no. If if you find another publisher, or if you want to self-publish, I mean, go for it." I was like, cool! And they also asked me to uh, write a, uh, a write-up of anything that is irrelevant in today's Roblox book. My, my current Roblox book that's out, they, uh, they want me to go back through it and all the stuff that's been updated inside Roblox and all the stuff that's kind of outdated inside the book now, kind of put it all together and uh, come back to them. And they said, I'm the material expert, so... If, if I know something that's out of date or if I see something that needs to be corrected, make a list of everything, bring it back to them, and they'll uh, they'll present it and see if it needs a rewrite. I'm like, that's kind of cool. I could have a, a secondary book, technically. Well, third third book. So I'd, I'd be like a three times published author, but I'm not counting my eggs before they hatch. I'm not putting the basket and the, the horse in front of the eggs, whatever term. Yeah, I messed that one up. <laughs> I'm not counting my spilt milk before it, it's crying of a hill, like a, a hill of a hill of beans or something. I don't know. Count your chickens before they hatch. Um, crying over spilt milk. Um, putting the cart in front of the horse. There we go. I think I got him. I think that's it. If you guys know any more, put them in the comments down below. I love reading your guys' your guys's comments. Uh, and in fact, I replied to my dad's comment yesterday and I didn't even realize it was my dad. Like I was just flying through the comments and he's like, don't eat your guns, they're not keto friendly. You should have vitamins for that. And I wrote back, thanks for the tip. <laughs> thanks for the tip, dad. <laughs> I didn't know it was my dad at the time, but it was funny. So, oh gosh, um, are we going to keep any of this wood? Do we need to keep this wood? Don't you need some wood to keep? No, I don't. I don't need any wood to keep. I, I tell you what, I am on a roll tonight. There is something that was just happy, happy mode. Ooh, I can, I can chop this up. Hold on, this, is, this has got two pieces in it. There we go. Boom. Nope. Wrong one. That's the wrong one too. There we go. That one. That one over there. Grab this one. And we just uh, chop, 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 chop. My dad asked me. He said, "Which one of your Roblox games is your favorite?" And honestly, it's it's still Lumber. Out of all the games possible on Roblox, like Lumber is my favorite game. Uh, if this is your first time watching me, hello. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I do cool stuff. Yes, I'm old, but you know what? I'm not as old as some of my viewers. That's true, they've told me. They're like, you're not as old as me, Cold. I'm like, Grandpa! I'm just kidding. Uh, both of my grandparents have passed away. But that, that's not to say that I don't, you know, still respect and love old people. Wait, that didn't sound right. That's not what I meant. You're all awesome. <clears throat> I tell you what, uh, I am 39 years old, and I I could have never told you what I was doing, like what I'd be doing by this time. But it's very true. Um, I did ask my wife. I'm like, hey, can I go ahead and purchase a $230 Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus just for myself? That way, I can get it out of the way and, and not worry about taking the kids' phones. And she said, no. <laughs> I said, please. She said, tell you what, take all the old iPhones that you have, all the old cell phones that we need to get rid of, and 
go up and see how much you get out of them. And depending on how much we can get back, the answer is a maybe. So I was like, oh, sweet. That was before I got the, the actual VR fixed today. So um, I guess I should learn to appreciate money by now, but I, I still don't for some reason. Like, like I know my videos, right? There was somebody in inside the chat or inside the the comments that were was saying code makes money off of doing lumber. Well, yes, it's true. I make money from YouTube videos, but I have a full time job. So there's there's people in the comments that sections all the time. They're like, get a real job. I'm like, I got one. Who are you yelling at? So that's not to say I I couldn't make YouTube a living. I mean, if I were to sit down, concentrate, and, and maybe edit some videos, yeah, I could probably make a living out of this. You know, I could do this every single day. But you know what? I, I don't want to. I want to program. I want to hack code all day long. And I say hack code, I, I'm programming. I love programming. If you were to ask me to choose one thing, programming or video making, I would go programming. I, I would actually, like if you said, you you could only have one to choose, which should it be? I'd be like, programming. I'm gonna go program some things. That's that's my cup of tea. And for anybody that's watched one of my live streams or watched one of my uh, like programming videos, dude, you know that's, that's boring work, okay? Not to me, but Anybody who's watching, and, and I will encourage you guys all the time, like, go learn some programming languages. Go go figure out some Visual Basic. Go do some HTML, you know? Whatever suits the need of what you're wanting to program, go do it and give it a try. Because I can guarantee you, within the first week of attempting to program something, something, like, relatively easy, if you're not 100% interested in it by the first week, you'll never want to be a programmer. It is it is boring. It is long. It's it's it, it is a field that many people want to get into because they're like, oh, it's great pay and it's it's this that and the other. And it's yes, if you can find the right company. But at the same time, if you're only in it to make money and you're not having fun, you've lost the point of what programming was for you. Like I, I could program some pretty cool stuff. I could, I could program video games. I can program 3D models. I can rig things. Uh, in fact, you can ask Jingle, okay? Because in, in the, uh, the what's it in the trailer? that we did for, I say we, he did the majority of the work. Don't don't get this the wrong way. He did the majority of like all of that video. They needed help with the animation at the end. So I threw something together in Blender just real quick to try and like get somewhere with it. And they didn't like that the, uh, the textures weren't coming through. And I, I couldn't get the textures to work for some reason because they weren't exporting correctly. Anyhow, long story short, I ended up programming it inside Roblox. I programmed that camera to like zoom in on cube and then zoom in on defense and then zoom in on the Rubik's cube and then zoom out and like all of that, it was programmed. Like I, I didn't use an animator, I didn't use anything like that, it was programmed. That is awesome. And I used the uh, tweening method and tween, tween and I used the, the modeling method. Very cool, very cool stuff. But Jingle can attest to it. He he watched the entire process. Like I shared my screen while I was programming it, and he was impressed. Well, at least I think he was impressed. If not, I was impressed. I'm like, I am a good programmer. I am justified. Do you ever need that sometimes? Just assurance that you're doing the right thing. I know sometimes I do. Like uh, chapstick, I really, I really need chapstick right now. So I need the assurance that hey, uh, I'm probably doing the chapstick thing correctly, but my lips are very dry. 
I got dry lips. That's not good. You ever notice whenever I feel uncomfortable about something, I go into a different voice? Oh no. You don't do that code, never. Well, yeah, I do. I, it's just a way of, like, talking to myself. It's like self-reinsurance then, right? Yeah, it's just me reassuring myself that it's okay. Boom! Look at that. Well! Now that I got that done in 15 minutes, now what? Um, do we have... We don't have enough for a rookie. But if I want any more land, I'm going to have to go get more ice trees. And I really don't want to do that tonight. Um, you know, I'm actually, I'm more excited about, like, starting a build of some kind. So, maybe, maybe we should start a build. Here, let's, uh, let's move this stuff. Let's move this off to the sides. Because we still have a whole bunch of stuff to do here in the... Oh, oh, no, that was, uh, dang it, hold on, I gotta move that back. It's gonna bug me. Boop. Like, I don't want to start building on the outside, because we still have, like, this entire edge, all this stuff. We still have to build. That's the first one on the outer layer. L outer layer. Outer layer. Also, did you notice how um, everything is symmetrical inside here? That's done on purpose. Defaultio did that. So, for example, the, the bases themselves, right? So, on here, I can take the large floor and it'll go five times. One, two, three, four, five. We counted this before. That's the, the number that I said, 25, right? Five by five is 25. Well, did you know that the number of plots that you can do is one, two, three, four, five by five? So there's 25 plots. 25 smalls, 25 plots. Now, if you take this and then you grab the next blueprint down, check it out. It's symmetrical to that. Oh, did that? Okay, there we go. That means it's one fourth the size. And if you do it again with the schmoll, one fourth the size. See that? And I think that is that one by one. No, that's two by two. So if we if we do a schmoll, oh wait, close. Uh, was it two? Tiny, teeny tiny toilet. Right there. So if you look at that, that is, uh, that's doubling every time. One by one, right? And then you go two by two, which is four. And you do four by four, which is 16, I think, is that right? So this is volume 16. Well, since we're working with like a, a one unit up, and technically it's, it's just length times width, so it's surface area. But there is volume to it, so it could be by one volume. Would it be like 0.5 or something like that. Hmm. Never mind. Thinking too deep. So anyhow, um, this is two. This is four. That means this is eight. So eight by eight is 64, I think. Hey Google, what's eight times eight? Yeah, 64. So there's 64 units inside this piece right here. Yeah. So when you think about it, the wood that you're supposed to use, there's only 26. If you were to chop the exact amount of wood that you need, you would need 64 units of wood to fill in this one blueprint. And because we got the power, you only need one. But that should give you an idea of like, how much thought went into each one of these these pieces. There we go. And if you've ever heard Defaultio talk about it, like he he did a speech on on one of the Roblox developer things, RDCs, and he talks about like the idea of behind creating this. I guess his mom was the first one to, to say something about it, tell him to hey you should go do this. Which is pretty cool. Uh, again, I don't want to go get ice today. You know what? We're not going to get ice. What was I doing before? My ADHD is just going crazy. It's going cray cray. Here, let's put this off to the side. 
Mm, this will be like my uh, my items shop over here on the cherry wood. <clears throat> Put all the loose items over there. Did I lose an axe somewhere? I think I did. Yeah, well, that's fine. Uh, have I gone and gotten the other blueprints? That's a good question. Do I have like the cabinets and stuff? Hold on, let's take a look. Do I have cabinets? Furniture. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I've got the, the other stuff. That's cool. Okay, so that means we can build a little bit of a house here. Here, I'm gonna put that over there. I'm gonna put this over here. This goes over here. Boop. Move. There. Okay. And we can move a wire out of the way. Why not? So we need a, a like a floor first, right? Or may, maybe some some steps. Should we make this just like one story high? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. So let's uh let's see. Do we have steps? We do have stair steps. Rotate. We'll we'll put them right here. That'll be good. Now how tall is this off the ground? That's four units tall. So we'll take a large floor. If we put up there like that, then is this going to be centered or no? Let's see, do a rotate turn. Oh, that would, that'll work. That'll be just the right height for, for filling in the aroundness. And there's two Z's. Cool. Okay. So, um, is that right in the center? I don't, I can't tell. That's not in the center. So let's move this. Since everything seems to be symmetrical, then we're, we'll keep with the faulty of symmetrices. Symmetrics? Symmetry? Semantic or whatever. So, large floor. Now we can go here and here. And there. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. It's not good, not good. Cool. I kinda like it. Okay, hold on, let's go, let's go right here. You also might notice something, like whenever I start building or concentrating with code or with anything really, that concentration kinda leads into me not talking so much. It's because I, I do, I become concentrated on it. Should we make it out of this stuff? Is that a nice color for a floor? Oh no, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it, it's a good, it's a good color. <gasps> Ooh, wait. Hold up. How big are these marbles? Countertop. Oh no. It would take double those. And I, I have to figure out how to line them up. Because they are like half units. They're for countertops. So would I do a, what, a turn turn? Oh, I could do that. Technically. No, let's not do that. No, 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 no. Even though I, I do want to see what it looks like. Poop. Hmm. <laughs> looks kind of like Spookwood. Wow. Hold up. Let's go get my rain over uh, light here. How's that look? Oh, that, look, that looks pretty good. That looks really good. But we're going to save that. Here, let's move that over there. We'll, we'll use it in a different plot, 
in a different place. 25 minutes, wow. Time really does fly inside this game, doesn't it? Does, does time ever feel like it's slipping away? It's going really fast. I have days where, like today, I was working and before I knew it, it was 5.30. Like I get off work at five o'clock, but I was so concentrated on what I was doing that just time passed by. So, I love that. And then those times that you like have to sit in an office and it feels like time is just not going fast enough. It feels like you've been stuck in the office for hours. Oh, that's making me tired. I need to not talk about that because that does make me sleepy. <clears throat> Let's concentrate on building in lumber. What kind of, uh, what kind of, um, staircases, staircase should I make? And also, this looks weird. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna need some post to hold it, hold it up. Can I walk under there? I can't walk under there. <gasps> this could be a horrible idea. Because what if, what if I get something stuck under there? I'd have to, like, move the floorboards and then get underneath. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll be okay. There we go. Now, if I remember right, these should be just the right height. Now, oh. Hold on, how's, how's that not? No. Let's get it lined up here. One, two. There we go. Same on this one. One, two. Ooh. <laughs> Thought it skipped out on me again. One, oh, that was good. It went both directions at the same time. Normally doesn't do that. So these will be the support beams, and just like any good support beam, that's in the wrong spot. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Knock it off. That's about right. Yeah, that's good. hope that lined up right. Hmm. Uh, what color should I use for, oh, let's use green. Just for, just for fun, because I've got it. Hmm, that's only 66%. Um, that's a, that's a full, right? Oh, oh, oh. Boom. Nice. Weird green color coming off the bottom. Boop. I love it. I love the way this is looking. That green is like super bright. I love how it contrasts with the brown. Oh, oh, come on, code. Come on, code. We almost have the base done. Drop the base. Now, I won't make the stairs green. Okay, <laughs> that'd be weird. Um, no, we're, we're good, I think. Should I? I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. Where's the uh, floors? It's the size of a regular floor, right? small floor and then we'll 
do no tiny floor like that Ooh, that looks kind of cool we'll have to do the same thing on the opposite side though so we'll do small floor schmoll and then we'll do oh nope not that one two that's a small floor and then a tiny floor right there cool now I just gotta fill it in that looks pretty cool I'm not gonna lie I like it okay okay we're done we're done 30 minutes on the clock oh my gosh uh, please be sure to check out the other two videos that released today yes there's a three video upload today and you guys missed like most of it in fact most of the people who are starting to watch this video right now are probably not watching it by the end the majority of people watch the first five minutes and then they see that it's not what they were looking for and then they leave but I know that you're still here so Zelda video uh, below zero video subnautica video and I got stuff to do I gotta work so Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber does. But you know, it's it's my fault that I don't push harder. It's your choice because uh, that's, that's how I roll. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.